Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 28 in chapter 5. In this system, it looks a little bit complicated. We have two objects A and B. And then we need to find the acceleration for this system. Right? So how can we do that? First thing we know it is mass B is larger than mass A. So the system moves this way. Agree, and the problem all the you velocity is in this direction. So we can do force analysis for this system, and then because the motion is in this direction, so the friction is in for B is in the opposite direction. The friction for the A is in the opposite direction. Do you agree? Yes. So we can see for object A, we have the gravity, normal force, the tension for this cable, and then the friction, and so we can project the gravity into the X component and Y component have the mag cosine theta and mag sine theta. In this one, we can see look at the object B. We have the gravity, normal force, the tension, and the friction. The friction is opposite to the motion, so it is backward this way. So in this one, we project the gravity into X component and Y component. Now we consider Newton's second law for A and B. First thing, we look at A. For A in the X component, or in the Y component, we can see we have the normal force minus the mag cosine theta equals zero because there is no motion at the Y component. Now we look at the X component, so we have the tension minus the friction minus mag sine theta equals mass times acceleration, right? This one. And the friction is easy. Friction is mu k, the coefficient times the normal force, this one. And then we look at the object B. For object B, we look at Y component. We have the normal force minus the m, mg sine, mg cosine theta. Normal force minus the mg cosine theta equals zero because there is no motion at the Y component. Then look at the X component. We have mg sine theta minus the tension minus the friction equals the mass times acceleration. This is in X component. And then still, same thing, the friction for B is the coefficient times the normal force. See, now we have these six equations and we can solve the equation to find the acceleration A. So it looks like we need, we need this equation and this equation to solve the problems, right? And the key is the same, so we need to look at the friction. So friction for this one is mu k mag cosine theta. And then the friction for this one, f uh, for b, friction for b is mu k mbg cosine theta b. And then we can solve the equation to find the tension and acceleration. Now, when you solve these problems, you can find this acceleration is just a negative 2.2 meter per second squared. And so then we are done. Thank you.